<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Family Devotions. We're so glad to hear have you here yes. with us today. Welcome, hello, and welcome hello. to Elmer's Guess How Many Times the Dog is Gonna Squeak His Toy <laughs> and Delay How We Start and Do the Lessons. <laughs> Let's take our guesses now. Anybody want to take a guess how many times we hear a squeak? A thousand. A thousand. A thousand. Fifty. Fifty. A thousand. Uh, Michael, you can't pick a thousand. Five. I'm picking at least two seventy-five million. <laughs> Mine's two seventy-five million. Two seventy-five million. Nice. <laughs> Actually, how many? How much you want about zero? Now that we said that. Yeah, I know. He threw it. <laughs> All right, well, we're so glad to have you here with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. And we are going to be reading again from this book. The I, it's called I Am, The 40 Reasons to Trust God. And it's by Diane Storks. And it talks about the names of God. So, Elmer, you got anything special going on today? Or are you just ready to get started? Nope, I'm just watching the dog. Oh, <laughs> okay. He might try to eat the phone. He might. He might. <laughs> All right, so this one today is a little, it was a little hard for me to pronounce. Are you guys ready mm -hmm. to try? Okay. Jehovah Slobodka. <laughs> perfect. Sabot. Sounds perfect Sab to me. Sabot. 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 Oh. Sabot. <laughs> so it's Jehovah We are learning. <laughs> we are learning today. Jehovah Sabot. There's so, got to be like a website or something that will like say it out yeah, loud that, for us or something. We should do that next time. <laughs> but anyways, it means the Lord of Heaven's armies. So um, in Psalm 2410, it says the Lord of Heaven's the armies. The dog is looking at me. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer, sorry, sorry. Elmer always gets a little nervous around sorry, dogs. But he tried to eat my I hand. I know, I know, I know. So it's, it's Psalm 2410 says the Lord of Heaven's armies. He is the King of Glory. So we're going to continue. Actually, from last week, we're going to continue reading in Second Kings in chapter six. Second Kings. Second Kings, the second one. Two. Yes, number two. Good job, Elmer. We're so proud of you. Two kings. No, well, no. yes. Maybe? Yes. I don't know. There's lots of kings in the books, but yes, two kings. <laughs> nope, there's only two. Okay. <laughs> So today we're going to talk. And in one kings, there's only one. Actually, we are going to talk about two kings. So you were you were right, Elmer. You were right. Okay, Mike. <laughs> the king of Syria began to fight the Israelites, but every time the Syrians planned a battle, the Israelites found out about it and went somewhere else. Pretty nice, huh? Who is telling the Israelites about our plans? The king of Syria wanted to know. He couldn't figure it out. There was a spy. There was a spy. That's what he thought. And it bothered him greatly. It was Perry the Platypus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Perry, right? Perry the Platypus. <laughs> so the king called all his servants and said, And all of his men, but they couldn't <laughs> put Humpty back together again. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> Anyways, he said, Please tell me who among us is for the king of Israel instead of for us. See, two kings, king of Israel, king of Syria. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and those are the only two kings in that book? Well, no. But oh. what, I said what we're talking about today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how can we surprise the Israelites with a battle if someone keeps telling them where we are? That's kind of hard, huh? None of us is the problem, the king's servant told him. But Elisha... God's prophet in Israel knows your plans and tells them to Israel's king. Well then, the king of Syria said, go find out where this Elisha is. Then I can send soldiers to capture him. The servants searched for Elisha. We learned that Elisha is in the city of Dothan, they told the king. So the king sent a great army with many horses and chariots and they surrounded the city of Dothan. In the morning, dun, dun, dun. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. in the morning, when Elisha's servant went outside, he saw the Syrian army everywhere he looked. Soldiers with horses and chariots circled the city. Oh my! And That's they weren't like, there oh no. to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. No, they weren't. They weren't. They there were there to capture Elisha. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the servant said, "Oh no! What are we going to do?" So Elisha came outside and he oh, saw... Oh no, what, what we, we gonna, gonna do? do? 
the king knights Daniel more than me and you. Oh no, oh wait, wrong, wrong story, wrong story, sorry. But no. Um, Elijah came outside and saw the army too. Don't be afraid, Elijah said. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Elisha's servant didn't see anyone with him in Elisha. Then Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, please let my servant see what I can see. What does it say at the bottom here? God reigns over everything on the earth and in heaven. That's right. Yeah, you know, the English language doesn't make sense, right? Why does the word reigns have a G? <laughs> By the way, you know how you spell my name? Z Q R L P L G. L -L. Wow, that's amazing. Yup, that's the English spelling. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes they don't make sense. No, no. God answered Elisha's prayer. Suddenly, the servant could see what Elisha saw: an army of angels, horses, and chariots of fire covered the mountain and surrounded Elisha and his servant. They had been there all along, sent by God to protect Elisha from the enemy king. When the Syrian army came down on the town, looking for Elisha... Sorry, the dog looked at me. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> um, when the Syrian army came down on the town, looking for Elisha, Elisha prayed again. Oh Lord, make them blind, he said, and God did. He confused the Syrian soldiers and they let Elisha lead them right to the king of Israel. The soldiers never knew it was Elisha or that he was leading them to Israel's king. When they reached the king, oh, Elisha prayed for God to let them see again. Then he told the king, give them something to eat and send them back to their master. So the king of Israel threw a big feast and then sent the soldiers away. Seriously. Nice. I know, that's a pretty good deal. Oh. That's three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. He almost made it. See you <laughs> Just in case you can't see because it's off frame, the dog is right here. I'm keeping my hand up here because he won't, I don't want him to eat it again. Okay, he went away. Oh, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> Aw, he said it now. He yawned. I guess he's Aww, tired. Aw, he's tired from sleep. Sorry, sorry, Miss Kristen. <laughs> Syria didn't bother. I just don't want to lose your hand. I know, I understand. Again. It's okay. Again. <laughs> Syria didn't bother Israel for a long, long time. So what does this mean? What? Why did we learn about the story? So we're going to talk about one of Kaylee's favorite books right now. The Chronicles of Narnia. In the Chronicles of Narnia books by C.S. Lewis, there are two worlds. When the children are in the professor's house, standing in front of the wardrobe, they can't see Narnia. But after they go into the wardrobe and discover it, they know Narnia is always there. We can't see heaven, right? Can we? No. Can we no. See it? No. 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 We can't see heaven, God, or the angels in heaven, but they are real and always there. God rules over both what we can see and what we can't see. He is the Lord of heaven's armies. Elisha's servant didn't need to be afraid, and neither do we, because God commands a heavenly army that fights for us and protects us when we need help. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's exciting, isn't it? That's exciting. Kaylee's going to pray for us today. Mom, where did you get this shirt? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> Go ahead, Kaylee. <laughs> Dear God, even though I can't see your, you or your angel armies, I know you can. You are there watching over me, and I'm glad. Amen. 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 So, Avery, what's our verse that we can learn about today? He's licking his own face. The dog is licking his own face. How does he do that? He doesn't die. Jesus. <laughs> Oh All right, go ahead, Avery. <laughs> Psalms 46, 7 says, The Lord's heaven armies in, is with us. The God of Jacob, Jacob. <laughs> is our protection. Good job. And so what's what happens next, Kaylee? God's people refuse to turn back to God and worship Him only. 
So God allowed other nations to take his people captive. The southern kingdom fell to the uh, Assyrians? The northern kingdom. <laughs> oh, the northern kingdom <laughs> fell to the Assyrians. And later, the southern kingdom <laughs> fell to the Babylonians. Good. A, na a man named Dan Daniel. Daniel. See? Oh no, what we gonna do? The king likes Daniel <laughs> more than one. to money. worship and own God no matter what happens. <laughs> and you, oh no, <laughs> what we gonna do? We gotta get him out of here. Bum, bum, bum. Oh no, what we gonna do? The king likes Daniel more than me and you. Oh no, what we gonna do? We gotta get him out of here. Maybe we can plug that in. We could lock him in the dungeon. We could let him rot in jail. Wow, that was great. <laughs> we could tie him up and beat him up and throw him out of Babylon. <laughs> Good job, Elmer. <laughs> if you don't know what Elmer's singing, go check out some Veggie Tales. It's like one of the first Veggie Tales ever. I was gonna say one of the original Veggie Tales. It looks like it was made on the PlayStation One. <laughs> well, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. When you look at it, some like, some kids would be like, "What is this?" I know it was in the nineties, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like a PlayStation One graphic. <laughs> All right. So like <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's still awesome. The songs are she the said, best. She said like 100 years ago. What's in 1990? What? <laughs> you realize your parents were born in the 80s. Was that 200 years ago? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go tell Pastor Anthony. <laughs> well, before you go, Elmer, um, I have oh, a special announcement. Oh, special announcement. Special announcement. Special announcement. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to let you guys know that soon we are going to be meeting back as at our church. So if you have any questions, if you want to, we have a video on our website that tells you all about what's happening, when, where, how, all of it. And even if you want to check out the details, all of that is on the website. You can check that out at GoBethelChurch.com. So check that out, and we can't wait to see you guys again. Woohoo! Yeah, we're excited. I don't have to sit on this bed anymore. <laughs> I mean, maybe well, soon maybe enough. Sometime. <laughs> soon enough, I won't have to sit on this bed yeah. and be attacked by a dog who wants to eat me. What can Yay. we do? What can we tell you? Speaking of which, I think he's licking his lips. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.